Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another car build and tuning episodes. It's actually been a while since my last one, um, which I'm kind of sorry about, but in terms of um, my videos, I'm not sorry about it. We did have 30 days in December where I made a car build every single day, so you guys probably got sick of it, uh, so it's good to have a break in that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to change the kind of format of these. Uh, basically, I'm going to choose a car at complete random. I'm going to close my eyes and I'm just gonna hold down the scroll button when I let go I'm gonna build that car um, so I'm gonna just let go at a random time um, I could hold it for like two milliseconds and choose that car um, or I could that's a sick car by the way uh, or, <laughs> or I could hold it down for the longest amount of time and get the furthest car in the whole thing so we're gonna try this if it works well uh, let me know guys and if you kind of don't like this format please let me know as well uh, but let's get into this I'm gonna close my eyes right now and we're gonna go okay I'm sure on any car in this in, on this game you can change real world drive so that one oh my god that looks swag all right Chevrolet Corvette 1960 oh my god okay we got this bloody swag reveal coming out first <laughs> okay I was expecting to see like a I don't know, like a Citroen or something like normal. And then it just comes out of this, like, what? <laughs> what just happened new? Oh my god, we gotta go with the baby blue. Some people might call that, like, strange, but... Mate, that looks swag. We gotta have the pimp out. Like, imagine you're just wearing, like, a pimp outfit right now. This car is... <laughs> this car is the one. It's the one and only, bro. The one and only. Okay. So, will it ever save? That's the longest save I've ever had. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys kind of like this format. It'll be more random. More random cards, I guess. Um, they'll be all shit coming out of this. <laughs> like, I would never have chose this car at all. Um, so, it's already come out pretty random, which is good. Um, also, I've got some barn finds that I could do a build on, but to be honest, they're a bit turd. So, yeah, I don't really do career, so... There's a lot that I need to unlock, but I just can't be asked. Um, okay, anyway, this is already real wheel drive, I'm sure, but let's just check. Um, and yes, it is. It's already real wheel drive. Okay, aspiration. Okay, stock aspiration or centri. Sorry, I can never say this word. It is one word that I just can't say. Like, I'm not even going to say it. I'm just going to say supercharger. I don't even. My, I'm good at reading. Like, I'm a good reader. But that word just blows my mind. I'm just going to move on. <laughs> okay. I'm not even going to try and save it. Okay. Engine. Shall we V8 this? Oh my god. That would be intense. Wouldn't it? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Let's, v let's do a 6.2 V8 in this. The engine. The 6.2 V8 engine in this game is absolutely sick. It's one of the best engines I've used. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. Long time, yo. Okay. Race front bumper we do not want. Race rear, rear wing. That looks swag, I'm not going to lie. Kind of tempted, but I'm not going to go for it. Alright. Remove rear bumper. Is that removing the exhaust, or is that removing just like the chrome effect? Because I can't actually see the exhaust. I can't move the camera around. Uh, so I can't really see it. What? What? Oh, I'm confused. Okay. Um, should we remove it? No, let's, let's, let's keep the, the chrome effect going. Let's keep that. It'll go well with like some chrome wheels maybe. Um and no, let's not really not do that. That looked terrible. Okay, so that's that. Now we're on to the tires. I'm gonna stick stock tires. Uh start a compound, sorry. Uh whips, let's go. Seeing as we've got a V8, running four uh two six fives in the front. Okay, and on the rears we're gonna run uh, two nine fives. That seems fine. That seems fine. How wide can you actually go? Three four fives. You are. Imagine this as a drag car. Oh my god. <laughs> it would be a kit. Oh wow. Okay, I didn't realize that the actual tire wall was colored. That's pretty sick. Okay. Now we got to look some swaggy wheels to go on this. Bruh. I don't even know what suits this car to be honest. I really don't know. I'm kind of tempted to just go for like them. Um, 
No, they look alright. Let's go for those. Let's choose those bad boys. So I was just, you know, I was in a concentration mode then. I was like, I've got, I've got to pick nice rooms here. But I can't kill it. Um, rim size. Okay. I can't. I wish I could move my camera. So annoying. Um, okay, we. To be fair, they don't even look that big. Should we just go with a 20 inch? No, let's not. Let's go 19. Let's be, let's be subtle about this. We don't want to go full rice on this. <laughs> um, so let's go 19s on the rear as well. I think because the arches are so big, you can't tell that the, the rims are even that big either. And there's a lot of tire wheel still as well, uh, which is always good. Um, so that's the rims done. Okay, onto drivetrain. Everything in drivetrain will be raced, so go through and rush through and put it all race if you do want to. Uh, you can choose Storm Island um, transmission, but you don't want to do that because it kills your car a lot. So don't do the Storm Island transmission at all. Plus, do not do this. Okay. Race differential is the last thing you want to chuck on. And that is that. Okay. Now on to brakes. We want... No, I'm sticking stock brakes actually. Just in case I want to make this into a tandem car. I hate having race brakes on a tandem car. Um, okay. Race suspension. And to be fair, it doesn't even drop it that far. I was expecting it to be a lot lower than that, but I will we'll accept it. We'll accept. Um, it's pretty much a swipe of bill, so we can deal with anything right now. <laughs> Yo, look at this bad boy. I, can't, what? I, I would have never would have chose this car in my whole mind. <laughs> like, what? I just don't. Yes, we've got to have the roll cage. That looks sick. And race weight reduction. 1,100 kilos, which is actually surprisingly heavy, but we do have a 6.2 V8 in this, so I'm not surprised. Um, okay, so what power do we want to get up to? I'd probably say about 550 to 600 would be sufficient, because um, I didn't really expect it to weigh this much, uh, which is kind of a little bit weird. Um, but then you can't take away the fact that it has got a V8 in it, like, come on. <laughs> okay, so we're in the bracket of 550 to 600 here. Uh, but I'm just going to take it a tiny bit further. Um, if we do the intake, intake, <laughs> intake and manifold on this, that should take us right up, right in the middle of the bracket there. 581 horsepower. That will probably be enough in this car. Uh, there's not massive tyres, and we've got a 6.2 V8, so <laughs> all sufficient right now. So let's jump out into the world, the world of Horizon 2, and let's get absolutely done in the ting in it. Okay. Oi, that looks like it looks like a boat. Oh my god! It has been five seconds. It has. I just pulled out of. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> Can I... Is that the tuning episode over, please? <laughs> please. Why you do this? Why you do this to me? Why? <laughs> Okay, let's jump up to the airfield uh, to get that um, nice drift zone up here. So I've got an itchy leg, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> I talk so much shit in these. Uh, but the airfield's got a nice, nice, nice um, variety of corners, let's say. Nice transitions and nice, nice everything really. It's got a bit of everything in it, which is what we want. Okay, gear one performed. <laughs> let's just drift in gear one. Alright, let's see if the gearing's fine. Let's see if it feels good at stock as well. I got it. Whoa, that has just gone. That actually felt like a boat. It feels like I'm drive. Is this boat simulator 2015? Like, come on. Whoa, okay. We gotta stabilize this. Oh my god! Okay, that was a lot better. Oh, wow, that was that was really smooth. <laughs> Do I even need to tune it? Even though I just crashed into like everything possible in that last run. Oi, bruh, bruh. <laughs> but as I always say in Horizon 2, you don't need a tune on cars. You can just slap rear wheel drive, get about 600 horsepower in a car, and you will drift completely sufficient. Obviously, there will be little mistakes like that, uh, but. That's where tuning comes in, and you tune it to match your needs. And do you know what I get? My needs. I tune it to my needs. So this might not necessarily work for you, um, 
but in terms it might work for you so that'd be that um, tire pressure's got to come down right in the front there just feels like there's no I'm not even controlling wheels on my wheel right now I'm just turning and it's just like yep I'm just floating in water bro <laughs> uh, gearing seems fine at the moment so I'm gonna leave that alignment oh, that's pretty strange no camber in the rear you know what it normally has 0 point, minus 0 0.5 on the rear which is I swear that's normal <laughs> um, but yeah let's go 5.5 .5 caster anti-roll bars just bring up the rear a tiny bit springs very soft as standard which is what I don't like so if you do like your cars soft just leave it where it is there's no point changing it but I like my cars quite stiff so I'm taking it right up bro taking it up to the stiff lands right now oh okay <laughs> sound a bit weird um, but let's lower that all the way to the floor Let's take the damping up to a little bit stiffer. The stiffy air. And yeah, sorry, I've really hurt my thumb. Like, my left thumb, about three weeks ago, I was playing football. And I went for a sliding tackle. And my thumb got caught, like, underneath my hand. And I slid, and it bent backwards like that. And I don't know what I've done to it, but it's been hurting for, like, three, four weeks. It's, it's just crazy. It's crazy, bro. And it's like, when I have to extend it, it fucking kills. Like, I probably broke it or something. But YOLO. To be fair, if I broke uh, broke it, I would know. I think it's more like a fracture, maybe. It's around this area here, but like it's more like a fracture or a, maybe like muscle strain. Or, I don't know. But it still hurts now, so I don't think it'll be anything to do with muscle, which is... I don't know. Fuck knows what I've done, but I bent it the other way, which is not normal. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was pretty much a bass tune chucked onto this. Let the bass cannon kick it. And uh, let's see how this performs now. See if it's got a little bit more, a little bit more drift car about it than boat, because boat was not good feeling. And let's get going. Oh yeah, baby! It feels really big. Um, I think the tire pressure's got to come down in the front even more. Just feels like they're not even controlling tires. It's just. There's just no grip in the front at all. And I think I'm going to bring down the rear as I do it as well. Uh, because the rear, it just feels as slidey as the front does right now. So let's take this down to like 23.5. And let's take this one down to 26. That'll be fine. Okay, so that should give us some more stability about the car. Actually feel some actual grip, hopefully. Obviously it's a drift car, so you don't want too much grip. But grip is always good transitions etc you want that stableness you want it um, also you, you don't want too much grip or it won't drift very well okay it's very very stable you can just let it drift it and do its thing <laughs> not even gonna lie it's a pretty crazy car actually I think it's more getting used to it because it's a very big car you got to expect like big long cars like this well it looks long I don't know if it's actually that long but I'm just visualizing visualizing I can't even speak visualizing that it's a very long car I don't know why um, but it does look very long which is probably where I'm getting it from but yellow so it performs absolutely amazing <laughs> this is like sick it's a bit of a swagger bill while going about your daily drifting. Look at this bad boy. This is stable as fuck. Look at this mad man. Bruh. This just glides. It just feels like it's on ice right now. Okay, just as I say that, I'll fuck up. Whenever I make a compliment about a car, I always fuck up. I think it's the added pressure. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this car feels fucking amazing. Oh my. Look at that angle though. Oh my. Look how stable that is. Oh my god right now. Bruh. Bruh. Absolute bruh. What the. Okay. This car is boat. It's like a drifting boat. It's everything I ever wanted. A drifting boat right now. The stableness of this thing is intense. Look at it. 
Oh my god! Get that guy in meth! Oh yeah! Oh. <laughs> okay, that was a bit weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I don't even think I'm going to change anything about this car right now. I think those tire pressures just made this car as stable as fuck. I could take down the rear a tiny bit, I guess, to make it even more stable. But I don't know if I'll lose that tire spin that we have right now. The tire spin just feels absolutely spot on. You can throw it in, but it hasn't got too too much grip that you're just like oversteering constantly. Um, it feels sick. I don't know how it's going to feel on the controller. If you are on the controller, do watch out um, for your couple first runs. But if you have a wheel right now, try this. Oh my god, look at this. Bruh. 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 <laughs> Madness. Utter madness of a car. I didn't expect it from this car, uh, which is <laughs> absolutely amazing. So let's jump into the tune right now. Let's go to setup manager and let's save this. Uh, I'm gonna upload this onto the storefront for you guys. Um, so if you want to download this, you can just jump straight in, type in my gamer tag, which is Kevin Toll. Uh, once you're in this car, that's one problem that people have with downloading tunes. You have to be in the car to find the tune. So you you'll have to buy the car and then download the tune by searching. On the setup manager. Um, so yeah, just search for gamer tag, which is going told the same as my YouTube, and it will be right there for you to download. So try out this tune; it feels absolutely amazing. It does 187 miles an hour. So if you're in a drag race, you, you might win. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like the new format of this, um, let me know. And if you did, uh, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.